What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. Currently four weeks out from the Arnold Classic and I'm just gonna give you guys a quick little update with how I am feeling mentally and physically as I am approaching this show. Right now, I feel good. My cardio is at 45 minutes still. If I feel like I really need to push myself, then I'll go ahead and do um, 60 minutes total for the day. But overall, I feel good. I'm currently doing a carb cycle. I have like three days of low and then I'll do like a moderate day. And then usually on that moderate day, I'll check in with my coach and depending on how I look, he will add carbs to my fifth and sixth meal. If you guys saw the episode two of the series, you guys will have an idea on what a little mini refeed would look like. Today is my third day on the low carbs and a low carb day is pretty exhausting because I'm only having 100 grams of rice for like three meals and it's not the worst of the worst but it's just, you know, my energy levels are just fluctuating throughout the entire day. As far as my diet, it's been the same, you know, throughout the entire prep. The only changes are just, you know, the carbs that my coaches pull out and the food sources are the same. So it's really important to keep things the same just because it's critical when it comes to peak week. When if we're playing around with different kinds of foods and throwing in different kind of things, my body is just not going to respond the same way when it comes to really peaking myself. So my coach has been doing a tremendous job just making sure I've been on point with my check-ins, my diet, and just overall with how I'm looking. So I'm really happy with that. As far as cravings, I don't really get any extreme cravings. Like I haven't had any like cheap meals or anything like that in a long period of time. So I'm not really craving the like, cheap meals. If anything, I'm craving more of the foods that I'm eating. So like, for example, like I would want more of the oats and protein or just having more salmon or, you know, just having more rice in general would be good. But those are just like the kind of cravings I get, but I'm at the stage now where I have to really dial it in and I'm just at a constant fat burning state. So just doing cardio every single day. Um, there's days where I train twice. You know, I try to do that maybe two or three times out of the week. And as an example, I'll do like hamstrings in the morning and then for the evening workout, I'll do like uh, quads. So I try to have a nap in between and obviously fuel up and make sure I'm recovered. I'll only do this if I know that I'm recovering from my workouts and I feel good and making sure I'm getting the right amount of rest. But if I feel like I'm really fatigued and just feel like I'm super exhausted from the training and I'm not really recovering well, then I wouldn't hit the double section. But that's just a little glimpse of you know where I'm at with my prep and how I'm feeling. I still feel strong in the gym. I don't feel like I'm getting that weak, which is a good sign. My muscle endurance is through the roof and I think that all comes from you know the cardio I'm doing. I'm doing a lot of you know low intensity cardio. I also hit the heavy bag for 20 minutes. I do like intervals of like 45 seconds to one minute where I just attack the bag and then I rest for like 45 seconds to a minute and then I'll do the same thing again and I'll do maybe like eight to 10 intervals of that and I feel like I'm just drenched after that. And it's a really good workout because it's super fun and I'm not sitting there just you know, just on a machine. So I like to incorporate that just to, you know, kill some calories and just make, just having fun with the heavy bag. So I do that a few times out of the week as well. So it just all depends on how I feel with what I'm doing. As far as what I'm doing during the day, I try to kill time. So I try to, you know, clean up around, you know, my apartment, cook the food that I need to get ready for the day. Just try to keep myself busy because if I don't, then I feel like I get, you know, just really hungry. I just think about food and I just get really, really like impatient to eat my next meal. So what I like to do is just kill time by just keep myself busy. Yesterday, me and my girlfriend, we went to the mall and we went shopping and it was, it was fun, you know, cause it keeps my mind off the prep and it's just not always strictly about the prep. I mean, obviously I'm not doing anything out of the norm where I'm eating things at the mall and stuff, but it's just, just keeping myself busy mentally helps me a lot. Yesterday I also watched a John Jones fight, crazy fight. I watched from like literally the prelims all the way up until the main event and it's a great fight. I really think that Dominic put it on him pretty well. I'm not sure if John Jones did deserve that win. It was a really close fight, but yeah, John Jones is a beast. But overall, it was a great fight. I'm gonna cook up a meal right now, and I'm gonna show you guys how I cook my salmon. There's a special way I like to do it, and it comes out really good every single time, so I feel like I gotta share this recipe with you guys, and I think you guys will really enjoy it. All right, if you guys actually like salmon, then 
I definitely want you guys to give this a try because this is probably like one of my favorite meals. So over here I have the salmon pretty much laid out. You know, I washed it. And then the first thing I'm gonna add to it is uh, some garlic powder. Sprinkle it right on top. Second thing I'll be adding is some Italian seasoning. You sprinkle this right on top as well. And the last thing I'll be adding is some, uh, some salt right on top. Here I have a pan that I'm gonna have it on like a medium. Then it's pretty hot right now, I feel like so I'm gonna spray it up. Bang, I'm gonna hit broil and hit high. It's gonna broil on a high. Here's a little There you have it, salmon's ready to go. Here's gonna be my pre-training meal. I have six ounces of the salmon that I just cooked, some honey-flavored, sugar-free barbecue sauce, and then 100 grams of white rice. Yeah, this is like one of my favorite meals with Italian seasoning and garlic powder and salt. I like to cook it on the stovetop for about four minutes and then I'll flip it over and then I'll broil it at a high for about four to five minutes comes out perfect every single time and really really tasty with the sugar-free um, barbecue sauce this is only 10 calories per serving it's definitely prep friendly so give this a try and let me know how you guys like it just gonna eat this meal and then I'm just gonna rest up a little bit and then we're gonna be training some chest later today at four weeks out from the Arnold Classics if you're eating a lot of food throughout the day try to you know walk around after you're you eat the food just because it'll help you absorb the food and it will also help you digest the food.
I know what I gotta do to really get my conditioning. But uh, I'm gonna head home right now and get some food. Get home. It's about a 20 minute drive. Uh, I'm starving. I'm gonna be really depleted. Let me show you guys how I'm gonna carry on. This is a, about four meals in, about a gallon and a half of water, and a shit ton of cardio and training. So this is where I'm at. So yeah, that's where I'm at right now. You know, energy levels are just always fluctuating throughout the day. If I haven't had a meal in a while, I start to get really, really cranky. And I just feel like just, you know, the diet taking its role. Hope you guys enjoy that chest workout. I really try to focus on my upper chest. I feel like that's something that's really lacking. And, you know, all the top pros, they really have a nice filled out chest. So that's my goal. I try to really fill out my chest. But I'm going to wrap up this video. You know, I'm feeling tired, depleted. I still have to edit this video. I'll take a shower, eat my meal, edit this video, get it out to you guys, and I um, hope you guys all enjoy it. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video.